<laughs> In case you didn't realize, this is Sonic CD. Yes, I'll be doing a walkthrough on Sonic CD. Don't mind this, I'm clicking continue, but it'll start right from the beginning, don't worry. This is Palm Tree Panic. This is like one of the least, or I should say, little known Sonic games ever made because the S Sega CD attachment for the Genesis got very little sales, I should say, so very few people got to know it until the Sonic Gems collection came out, which is the game version that I'm playing it on, which is the exact version that's on the Sonic CD. It is, as the angry video game nerd said, arguably one of the best Sonic games ever made. And look at this, I got my spin dash back, yeah! Whew. The level designs in this game are just so good. Everything about it I just love. Oh, and that's Amy, by the way. Yeah, this is Amy's first appearance. Can you believe it? We are done with Zone 1. Just like my Sonic 1 walkthrough, I used the very first level to kind of do an intro. If you can't get through it, you won't make it through the game. Here we go. Woo! Basically, the Palm Tree Panic levels are just move to the right. What's strange about this Sonic game, as opposed to other Sonic games, is that there's very few bottomless pits. Well, that's very, very strange in the Sonic world. It actually in increases the fun factor of the game because you don't have to keep worrying about stopping. There's only one level in the game that I know of that has a bottomless pit. And I'll tell you it when we get there. And another cool thing about this Sonic game is that you can hit the special lamppost that says either past or future and go through time. And hopefully I'll be able to get to show you one of them. They're completely optional, but they're fun. Man, I hope you guys can hear me. The TV is really loud. <laughs> I really hope you can hear me. I'm gonna have to check this after this part. If you can't hear me, I'll have to redo it. Okay, act three of each stage is in taking place in the future. Woo! Where Eggman has taken control. Stand right here now. Jump! Okay. Oh, I mistimed it a little bit. That's okay. Very easy boss. Only takes three hits. Just jump at him. He can barely even hurt you. Woo! We're done! Yeah, act Act threes in this game are really, really quick. But come to think of it, a lot of the zones in this game are fast. I don't know why, the zones are slow, I mean, not slower, shorter, but they're so much fun, I just can't stop playing the game. This is Collision Chaos. Now, see, here's Amy. She loves you, you can see the hearts. Now watch this, here comes Metal Sonic! Woo! 
Yeah, this is the first appearance of Metal Sonic, I think, too. I, don't, I think Sonic CD came before Sonic 3. Or I should say Sonic and Knuckles. No, wait, no, it, he, he started in Sonic 2, never mind. I just gave you a bad history lesson. <laughs> Anyway, Collision Chaos is kind of like the spring yard zone of this game. Let's see if I can get a... Ah, oh, I can't get it. I just... I want to show you guys the time traveling sequence. Oh shoot. I could have did it right there. I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to get it on one of these levels. Uh, not this way. In different time periods, like here's past. What you'll see is... Oh, I can do it right here. Um, it'll change the layout of the level, the music, the whole overall design. And in the future parts, if you find this special, uh, I think they call it a, um, enemy generating machine or something in the future. No, wait, it's in the past. And, uh, if you hit both of those, or I should say destroy both of those enemy generating machines, then the future in part 3, or act 3 I mean, will be a good future. But I'm not going to do that in this walkthrough because it's quite annoying to find some of them. Because some of them you only have one chance at getting. Woo! Boy, I have a lot to explain, not much about the gameplay. <laughs> but these first couple levels are easy, so there's nothing really to walk through. Just make sure you have a ring and keep traveling right. If you reach a dead end, go back a little bit, etc, etc. Here's Act 2. Go down here. Now oh, you're getting this little trap here. Oh, I got out. Okay. Yeah, if you get stuck there, you'll be there just like uh, in Spring Yard Zone. There's that trap. Oops, not up here. Uh, where, where do I go from here? I forgot. Let's see if I can... There we go. I'll change, uh, <laughs> change the time period to the past. Remember, this is completely optional. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. Ah! This kind of reminds me of those other grasshoppers from Sonic 2. Dang you! They returned! Woo! Oh, here's the enemy ge generators I'm talking about. That right there. If you find all of them in Act 1 and Act 2, I mean, there's only one in Act 1 and Act 2, you'll be able to have a special... Whoa! I didn't want that. A special uh, future third zone. Uh, break your way through here. Yeah, these bubbles are kind of annoying, but they're kind of fun to bounce around and... Woohoo! <laughs> and come on, one more... Yeah, we made it. Woohoo! Oh, shoot. Uh, I think we're nearing the end of this part. 